Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and thank you so much for tuning back into Fix That Rush. Yes, guys, we're back, and last episode, we upgraded the queen, and yes, she is still going. We also started this P.E.K.K.A., and this here P.E.K.K.A. still has six days to go, so we actually have no need for elixir right now, so I've been using miners to farm gold and dark elixir for a variety of different upgrades that we could do. Now, the big focus for today is going to be, obviously, upgrading some defenses because we're so close to max tunnel 9 I can taste it. Actually, we're a little ways away. We've got like a dozen upgrades or something to do. But also grab Dark Elixir at 67,000 and upgrade the king. It would be 105,000. So yeah, we've got about 40,000 to go. Probably won't get that today, but every little bit helps, right? So without further ado, let's go out and let's farm us some some stuff using miners. I love these miners. How many times have you guys heard that on this channel and especially in this series? These miners just, they, they just unlock all potential in Tunnel 10 farming. So I'm gonna find us a massive base and we're going to destroy it because, dude, seriously, today I've had some crazy, crazy luck. Don't worry. I will show you a replay. And there you go. 470,000 golden elixir, 4,200 dark elixir. I don't even have to skip, guys. Like, I don't even have to, like, cut that video part out. I can just kind of, like, just transition very nicely as if it was on purpose. Let's pretend that that was on purpose, okay? So... Check out this. Ooh, this is a Rush Tunnel 10. Very similar to mine, actually, except for he's actually got a single targeting Inferno. So uh, let's attack this base from the side of the Dark Elixir. So let's attack this base from this side here and, and just have some fun. All right, let's get the King, and we'll put him right here for the high HP building. Let's put the Miners in very thick right there. Pop the King's ability. He's going to funnel at least these guys into the core. And let's drop a heal on this side for this Wizard Tower and a heal on this side for the Wizard Tower and the Queen. Poison over the Queen. Everything's going nicely so far. And obviously what we're going to do, we got to throw down some heals all over the place. You know, all over the place. Heals galore. Heals galore. So, oh, this Skeleton Trap's really ruining everything right there. But okay, we're, th we're through it. Double heal on that side. Let's put a heal on this side. Basically what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to keep all these miners alive down here to grab that storage and also to grab this last drill. So let's put a heal right here. There's only like five miners down there and that's all that we're going to be able to use to get this last drill. So hopefully they'll do a decent job. All of our miners, get that dark. Oh, double whammy. We got the dark elixir. We got the town hall. That is awesome. And now we have no more heals. I went a little nuts with the heals, but... I think we ended up in a pretty decent spot. If we don't three-star this base, we will at least do a pretty decent job. Oh, wow. Definitely spot right there. That was a rough spot. Oh, man. These miners coming up. They're like dead. They're like limping home, man. But yes, guys. Majority of... Okay. Yeah, this, this side of the base, it's going to survive. Okay? But that's okay. Because the Dark Elixir is down here. And those beautiful, beautiful miners with the candles on top of their helmets have done the deed. That is awesome. So gonna get some more gold there is actually a fair amount of golden elixir right here but if we miss out on that that's fine but dude this this turned out really well especially for a base that had an inferno i still at this point in fix that rush i still avoid all bases with inferno towers because why why would i hit a base with inferno towers when i can hit search five more times and hit a base that doesn't have it and have a better chance of getting all the loot right but i couldn't pass up that loot that was amazing plus it just worked with the video like no skipping and it just was very uh it was just extremely smooth very cool very nice you know what i'm saying so there we go guys all the miners are down they they did a great job Five hundred thousand gold four hundred and sixty nine thousand elixir all oh, that's fast math and then lastly 40 598 dark elixir that's a lot of loot guys for one simple little attack but i found even more let me just show you the replay and i've actually found several that had a lot more but let's find let's see oh yes that one that i lost i actually lost this attack but look at how much loot i ended up grabbing Seven hundred thousand gold that's a ton of gold, guys. Look at that. Dead Town Hall 10. And it, it, most of it's collected. I mean, all of it's collector loot, mine loot, 
drill loot. It's all just out there, you know? And I missed a lot of Dark Elixir because what I did was I simply just spammed barns. So I mean, look at all these miners spammed all around this base. And I didn't bother to throw down any heals. I think it healed one time because all the Dark Elixir was here. So I was like, well, yeah, let's heal that spot. Keep these miners alive. But you know what? These defenses were fairly high level. It's a shame that this guy went at inactive because he's got a pretty good base. So I healed over this. Poison over the queen. But she's level 35, dude. She's going to like one shot all those miners. And unfortunately, she drags all the miners over because once she starts shooting, every miner within a radius comes toward her. So after that, she they... Uh, uh, she, they, they killed the queen, there we go, and then they were distracted and didn't actually get the drill. We had one hero miner. Go, hero miner. Go. You just, just keep being awesome. Oh, you beast. Every shot's pretty good, too. Like, 20, like, 200 dark elixir, roughly, and then I used the cane to get that, uh, gold mine up there, and that was it. So, just amazing and i love the miners because i'm able to use them in a variety of different ways i can either uh send them in a wave and try to three star a base or at least get into the core or i can just barch with them and it works and i i use very few um healing spells and it's a very cheap army so that's awesome but i i found a base that was even better than that one hopefully i didn't just lose the replay though oh there it is right there the final replay that is available and this one is yet another dead town all 10 what i did was the typical um the typical mass mine attack deployed the king pops his ability for the funnel and just laid out the miners just right but guys this base had a ton of loot and i figured it was worth the investment to go ahead and use all the heals the biggest issue with me using my heals is not a it's not a matter of of, of elixir it's a matter of time because the spells in this army actually take longer than the troops to train and i don't like sitting there waiting on my army so i try to use as few spells as possible so that the time to get the next army doesn't take quite as long but it was worth it guys look at this i meant us i meant a a man to I don't know that guy. I can't say that guy's name, guys. If anybody out there knows how to pronounce it, please let me know in the comments, right? But yeah, dude, this dude was sitting on a ton of loot. And look at this, like full collectors, uh, full mines. See that little cart? It's full. It's actually overloaded. Look at that. There's so much gold in that little cart that it's overloaded. So yeah, man, we did a fantastic job. Are we going to three star? I don't remember. I, I, I didn't even look at the results. Like this is a completely new thing for me. Or am I going to run out of time? Is that what's going to happen? No, guys, we're going to three-star this base. 675,000 total gold once they get this last gold mine here. Watch this. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, miners. Booyah. And then plus a loot bonus of 70,000 golden elixir ends up being over 745,000 golden elixir. I mean, that's a lot. That is a ton of loot for sure, for real. So, um, <laughs> anyway, I've got another army, but I don't have all the spells. So I say we just kind of YOLO, okay? I say we YOLO. I've got 46 seconds. I'm going to wait for that last heal spell. We're going to go out ill-equipped, but you know what? We're in Crystal League. We'll be fine. Don't worry about me, okay? Don't worry. We're still going to do good. So I'll be back in a minute. Hey, dead 10 all 10. That's the... I like that. That's great. Okay, so here, here's what we'll do. We need to look at where where's the dark elixir, okay? I, I'm doing pretty decent in gold. I'm doing pretty good in elixir, considering our situation, which I'll explain more later. Uh, but we need the dark elixir. So we got one here. We got one here. My <laughs> iPad keeps falling because my case is awful. Um, and then there's one there. It's lower level. So let's actually, let's wipe out that drill. Miners, get that whole drill. Come on, guys. You got this. Oh, do I need a third miner? Please say I don't. Wow. I need one more miner. Okay, you got this, guys. Yeah. All right. So three miners. Keep that in mind. Three miners. Now, here's what we'll do this time. We are just going to have ourselves a spam fest. All right. Spam fest all up the top. And we will be sure and spam these four heal spells that we have with glee. All right. With glee. So I'm going to gleefully throw down two heal spells. And I'll probably throw down a third here in just a moment. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get these groups to make it through these initial defense layers. And, oh, oh, that's a king. That's a level 37 king. Wow, this guy went inactive with a level 37 king. That is a shame. That is a shame. All right, let's heal over that group and heal over this group once again. And hopefully they get through and take out these drills. That's the main thing. If they don't get to the storage, that's not that big of a deal. Honestly, because it's a dead base, the likelihood that there's a lot of dark elixir in there is not very high. Um, oh, and this queen, she's probably about to ruin everything. Get a good shot on the drill. Come on, get a good shot. Get it all. Come on, yes. 
Oh, yes. Okay. So, oh, and the queen goes down. That was perfect. Okay. And then bomb tower kills a whole bunch of miners. But we've got some here. Oh, 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 you wonderful heroes. Get that dark elixir out of that drill. Booyah. All right. There we go. I'm happy. I can die happy now. Except for the gold. I really wish we had gotten that gold. We missed out on some gold. Oh, there's more over here, too. Oh, wow. This group's actually going pretty strong. It looks like they did. Nope. Never mind. Yeah, this group's so done. Okay. So... That's it. 62% <laughs> two star, one less heal spell, no poison spell, which I would have totally poisoned over that king at the beginning, and it would have probably made a big difference, and then healed over maybe like this group at the end, and they would have made it all the way through that section too. And then if I had both heroes, we would have had a better funnel, and it probably, we could have probably three starred that dead 10 out of 10, but we did it. But we still got tons of dark elixir. I mean, with the loot bonus, we got over 39, wait. We almost got 4,000 Dark Elixir. That is awesome. We did a decent job with the Elixir. We probably didn't cover our cost in that one, but that's all right. We don't need Elixir. And then gold, 200,000 gold. Pretty much crap, but that's okay. So let's hop over to our progress base now. Oh, we're already here. Welcome to the progress base. Um, let's actually do some discussion, just for a quick moment. We're talking about Elixir right now, guys. The only Elixir upgrade, and you guys know this if you've been watching this series, is the P.E.K.K.A. This one's going to level 4, and then in 6 days, we upgrade her to go to level 5, and I believe it's a 7.5 million Elixir upgrade. So that means that in, in 6 days, we need to farm up 2 million Elixir. That'll be easy, no big deal. We're just going to save Elixir today. That's awesome. And then once we're done with all that, we don't have any other purpose for Elixir besides armies, which we're going to have some fun with some armies. And then obviously walls because our walls are awful. Next step is gold. Where can the gold go? Right now, we need to upgrade all those archer towers. We need to upgrade both of these bomb towers and all four of those cannons. These two are doing good. And then all four of those mortars. Once all those are done, max down all nine by defense. Purpose, uh, by defense, and then we need to catch up our walls, which are severely lacking. And then Dark Elixir is the queen and the king. Get those level 30 as soon as possible to be max 1009, and then every drop of Dark Elixir will either go into the lab, and my current theory, unless somebody changes my mind in the comments, is to just upgrade the cheapest upgrades and keep that lab going. Probably going to start with the, let's see, 25. Yeah, probably start with the poison spell because it's only 25,000, and then work our way up from there. Oh, wait, wait, nope. Hog Rider, 20,000. That's the cheapest one. Awesome. So we'll probably start with that, but we'll see. And then the rest of the Dark Elixir, if we have any excess, we'll go into the heroes until 3030, and then we'll probably continue to upgrade heroes as we can, but they're very, very expensive. And um, yeah, so we are, we're very, very close to entering a brand new chapter here on Fix That Russian. I cannot wait. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. There will be a moment coming soon where we don't upgrade defenses because I'm going to need to catch up my walls to my to my defenses. Like these wizard towers, they're already maxed down on nine. We're not going to upgrade any more wizard towers uh, um, to max to, to 10 or 10 level until these walls are all level 10. Because level 10 is max for Town Hall 9. So we're going to have a lot of work to do, guys, very, very soon. I'm going to just keep working on defenses because I... I like it more. So um, let's upgrade a defense. And I would like to do, since I've got 7 million gold, I'm doing great in gold right now, is I'm going to upgrade the most expensive gold upgrade. So we have the Arch Tower, which is 3.5 million. We've got the Bomb Tower, which is 5 million. Wow. Okay. Uh, cannons are 3 million. And the Mortar is 3.2 million. Wow. Okay. Well, the Bomb Tower is by far the most expensive upgrade right now and probably one of the more... Or, or less interesting buildings. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the bomb tower. The fact that it only targets ground. You know, it's not that great. But we're going to upgrade this baby because fix that rush, right? So, 5 million gold. 8 day upgrade in 3, 2, 1. Bam! Yeah. All right. Sweet. So, we're going to move that one baby up. That means that one still needs to go one more level. And that's going to do it for our gold for now all right so if i click the the list the next two builders that are going to come available are the cannons those are finishing tomorrow that's crazy i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get another video out tomorrow but that is good that means we're gonna have extra builders available and we're gonna want to put down more buildings i mean ideally the more expensive ones first just to get them out of the way so the bomb tower or maybe the archer towers but whatever we can do to get all of those things done and then obviously we're gonna keep farming dark elixir to potentially upgrade the king to level 26 
And then, of course, saving up Elixir to get that P.E.K.K.A. going one more time to max for Tunnel 10 and finish Elixir use on the base entirely besides the walls. I think that I have explained myself well enough for today, and the progress was pretty dang good. Getting a bomb tower upgraded and, of course, setting us our ourselves up for an epic farming journey of finishing these walls, and I believe that we're going to do it in record time. But for now, guys, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in to Fix Head Rush. Like this video if you liked and hit that subscribe button and join the Klaus family for daily gaming videos. And as always, I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.